What is up family? What's up YouTube? Your boy Shuby here, back at it with another review. Thank you. I've missed you guys. How are you guys doing? I don't know, I feel like I haven't recorded enough, or I feel like I haven't recorded lately. I don't know. It's just a feeling. I know I've been pretty consistent, how you say, on what I've been recording. Let me take these off for a second. Oh, they're recording. Now you guys are on my Snapchat. Holla. As you guys know, I mean, the whole world knows. Snapchat has been around for several years now, and I'm, I will say, I am a regular user of Snapchat. I'm not getting paid for saying this, but I use Snapchat, bro. Who doesn't use Snapchat? I mean, unless you really don't really mess with the movement. So, for today, I got a couple, well, actually, some things to show you guys. I'm not trying to brag. I'm not trying to show off. That's not me at all. I'm just trying to express and share the, sh the stuff that I cop. I almost said that word. I'm not trying to show in any kind of way that I'm better than anybody. That's not what this channel's about. That's not what I'm about. I'm not gonna give that off. I like sharing with my family. I like sharing with my friends. I like sharing with the Boost fam, with the squad. I like sharing the stuff that I get because I think one, is high quality or really good quality to me. Two, I'm passionate about it and in some way or another, I'm a fan of it. And obviously I'd like to represent or give off that. I'm for good quality merchandise. I'm not trying to look like a salesman, don't think that. I'm not trying to advertise anything, which some of y'all may think that, but I'm not trying to do that. It may come off that way, and I guess in a sense, or by definition, I'm advertising to you guys what I get. Nah, nah, nah. I'm showing y'all, or expressing to y'all, family squad, the movement, what we are all about, what I'm about, what I like, what I go through, my experiences, my lessons, yada yada and all that. Y'all get what I'm saying. So, before I get into that box, many of y'all know what I got. I was up in the Adidas ES about a week ago. Your boy's been real busy with real life. Haven't had a chance to review them. I do want to give two shout outs to two of the Boost family members. One being Neil Swenson, I think I pronounced that correctly, my homie from Twitter. And the other one being B-K-L-Y-N-S own i think that's what it is shout out to them dudes because they did provide assists to yours truly i'm very grateful the homies came through they copped merch that i was obviously not able to make because boost god was out i believe in boston and the other one was in new york and both of these homies was able to pick up a shirt for me just real quick you already know the really good quality of merch that i buy i just think it's super dope it's super comfy super flexible you know it is boost god merch in the front it's just a regular black tee and we got the white symbol. It looks like a symbol, right? And all it is is just a BG, man. And on the back, we got New York with what I believe is Godzilla God. shooting an ultralight beam. And then Boost got at the bottom. I thought this shirt was kind of interesting because it is styled in like cartoon. And I thought it was cool because we have all this merch and it's simple. And then some of it is really vintage tattoo type. You can match this with a lot of your clothing. That's what I'm trying to say. So I think this kind of gives it like a curveball when it comes to the merch. I like it. I think it's super dope. Anything that's super good quality or anything that he himself, Buscat, designs to the point where it is very detailed, then depending on the image itself, I most likely will cop. Just because I have this sense that if you're putting money towards something and you're getting a lot of it back while at the same time being passionate it isn't like a gamble it's actually a good investment bro on to the second shirt i'm just unwrapping this one and it's real sick this is a new sticker for you guys who know about the boost card merch first time i see this sticker <laughs> i'm trying i try to be real careful when i take off the sticker just because i like to paste them on i don't know my sneaker cases maybe my laptop you know sticker bomb it. i'm just seeing this now it looks kind of navy thought it was black nonetheless it's cool this one's the one from boston and it is a long sleeve. super glad my homie came through with that assist as you see the font right there b and g just the way the boston red Sox font is see that dagger with that i mean y'all see y'all see what it is on the left and on the right sleeves we have boston and around the back we got the skull with three dra daggers i believe yeah, three daggers. This is the first time I'm seeing it, guys. They're kind of like daggers. They look, I mean, at the length that they are, they're pretty much swords, right? Um, yeah, it's navy blue, the color of the 
Boston Red Sox. Another thing I do want to talk about, and I have it right here. I remember the posters I got. Well, I was able to pick up another one just because to me, this, this specific image will represent a goal I'm trying to reach for a sneaker that I want to obtain and have one day in my collection. Eventually I will post up posters that I collect. It's just not right now. It ain't that time yet. So it's the first time I'm opening it too. I mean, I happen to see a glance at it, but now I'm seeing it fully open. This is my favorite, all time favorite. This is like a dream sneaker for me to obtain. Right now it's crazy on asking prices, whether you go on GOAT or whether you go on StockX. But this is the NMD and the PK and a collab between Adidas and Nice Kicks. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think it looks super crazy. I, I mean, I really like it just because it's tie dye. I'm not a fan of tie dye. Trust me. I don't. I'm not a like. I don't mess with tie dye. But the way this looks, you know, I'm a fan of black and red. Dude, look at that. It just looks like splatter tie dye. I'm not reviewing the sneaker, but y'all can pretty much see black blocks, white boost, red and black tie dye spread from the top of the shoe where the laces go, spread throughout. I'm pretty sure it says Nice Kicks on one of these. Yeah, right, that one. And that one says Adidas. And on the back, I think they say Nice Kicks. I've never seen a pair in person. I'm gonna be super lucky. And trust me, I'm gonna be drooling when I see these sneakers. You know, I'm super grateful my sisters were out in Cali and I asked one of them to bring me the spectacles just because I wanted to try them out. I wanted to see what they were all about. They come in this container. This thing's inside of it right in the center. I'm not gonna do an unboxing or whatever. That's like faking it. Just the yellow, it feels kind of like, like squishy plastic. It's crazy. You got a little tag right here. I do not know or understand the purpose of this. It's probably just for labeling or whatever. It's uh, all yellow, black dots, as you can see if I zoom in closer. And then around this side, that's where you charge it from. So the cool thing about this little case is that it's got an internal battery in which it can charge the frames for you. So I think that is sick. While at the same time, you can charge the case and you can charge the glasses. I've tried it when it comes to charging it and it's real sick. I was using it today for about, you know, three to four hours I was at the zoo. Can you see animals? Yeah. Are you excited? And bro, like it's not even down to halfway. Shout out to Snapchat though. They really did a good job when it comes to these chargers. Apple, where you guys at? <laughs> Like we got these rope chargers and both tips are magnet. Come on, bro. That's, well, that didn't work that time. But yeah, there you go. Rope chargers, you guys know, they're pretty much really sick because you don't, don't tangle them all in your stuff. You got this little white booklet, kind of like Apple does it. I'm gonna fold it right here. Instructions on how to pair with your device. I got a cleaning cloth and this is where the charger came and then warranty and information stuff you know stuff like that i'm not a huge fan of the way the frames look because it's kind of distinct it's kind of different i just feel that with certain frames i may look funny or the frames themselves look funny or both y'all tell me what do you think do I look funny in them? Be honest, I can handle, you know, criticism. It's all good. Does your boy Shuby look weird in these glasses? Obviously right there you see the little yellow ring. This is where the camera's at. All black shades. It's not deep, dark black, you know, tint. But it does help you when it comes to, you know, light shining in your face. And if maybe you guys can see closer if I... It's not pitch black. Let's see. It's not pitch black frame. You can see the cables or the wires on both sides. This is where it has the button where you click on it to play. The way these work is they connect through Bluetooth and they sync to your Snapchat account. So in my phone, it'll say Shuby Specs or Shuby Spectacles. And let's say if I'm out, I don't even have to have my phone with me, but let's say if I'm wearing these, they have like an internal memory. I don't know how much exactly, I haven't been able to read that much into it, but they have an internal memory and they'll record up to 10 seconds. 
and let's say you want to keep recording well you can click on it again because there's this little white light right here in which you press it and you get an additional 10 seconds you can do that two times so in total of 30 seconds of what you'd be recording at that moment except they do come in 10 second uh, clips i think they're real dope i wore them all day today at the zoo um, yeah the only thing that stands out is that yellow ring there if i didn't have that yellow ring then people would think there's some funny looking frames which i'm glad because this is a distinct way that people know like hey he doesn't have just some funny frames on he's got snapchat spectacles i was generally surprised because I'm checking out. We go into like a cave where uh, the penguins are at, I believe. This kid comes up, you know, walking in my direction. And he's just like, oh, oh my God, he's got Snapchat spectacles. The kid looked no more than 12 years old. And everybody around me, like maybe they didn't care. Maybe they didn't feel, you know, anything to call them out. But they're really hard to obtain because right now there's like Snapchat vending machines. You can also order them online. There's only two Snapchat vending machines to my knowledge. I think one's in the bay. And the other one is in the Grove in uh, California where my sister was able to get me one. Thank you to my sister who was able to get me a pair. Super glad, cause now if I'm out, let's see chilling with my boys, I'm out going out and doing something. I can wear these, you know, to protect my eyes from the sun. Or if I wanna record something real quick, up to 30 seconds, then I could just hit this button. Later on, it'll connect with my phone at whatever time my phone, you know, I open Snapchat, it'll say, this is what's loaded on your Snapchat spectacles. Do you want to import them? Yada, yada. Then you choose there whether you want to put it on your story, whether you want to send it to someone directly, whether you want to just save it for yourself, such and such things like that. So that's the Snapchat spectacles. Now let's get to what this video is really about. A while back, I was at the Adidas ES, as you guys saw in my last video, and your boy did, I mean, for certain, you already know that I copped those Chinese New Year's. They're my very first pair of Chinese New Year's, and I'm glad. They are the Adidas EQT 9116, the EQT Ultra Support 9116 to be exact. So here it is. First, let's acknowledge this box though. This is the sneaker box. Like, there's no cardboard. There's no, like, plastic. It's a wooden box. I don't know what kind of wood this is, but this is literally by far one of the sickest sneaker boxes I've ever seen any sneakers be encased in. Yeah, all red, smooth to the touch, man. Like this thing was sanded down for days, or maybe hours, who knows? I don't, I don't really know. I'm just, you know, throwing it out there. Gold little lock right there. It doesn't lock. You could just like, you know, do that and open them, but we're not gonna open them yet. The bottom though. Oh, so the thing about this box, you know how the Mahjong game goes. Apparently Mahjong games all come in wooden boxes. I've never had any in my hand. Of course, I, we've all played it, you know, in the computer or whatever, and if you haven't played it, it's a really difficult game, man. I don't know how to play it specifically. I'm just like randomly clicking things. You see the Adidas Trefoil logo right here with the Adidas wording at the bottom and the rooster. Uh, this box is basically supposed to represent the mahjong box just because it's a chinese uh, board game i did go eight and a half because i tried the shoes that were eight and a half at the store and i'm not saying these are pk i'm not sure if they're pk to be honest but they fit perfect i, I was so, so surprised this baffles me even more as i dive deeper into adidas and De adidas sneakers look at that so you see that the inside is green too, just like the bottom. It's basically supposed to be the inside of what the Mahjong box is. This is like super soft suede. It could be just like, I don't know, some like felt. I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it. Let's not get into that. We're not reviewing boxes here. We're talking about the sneakers. Here it is guys. Adidas EQT Ultra Support. 9116, super long name. To keep it short, this is the Adidas EQT Chinese New Year. From the bottom, we got Continental also in all white. Red torsion system, which is pretty sick, I like that. It goes along with this little tab right here. I don't even know what this is, but it's probably part of the torsion system, which is good for stability. And then we got the Boost mid, so all around, you know, your boy messes with Boost. And on the upper, we have, honestly, man, this is leather, but, there's like shavings of leather, and there's also suede and plastic TPU. All right, so one thing I do wanna point out is the insole. I think the insole is one of the sickest touches when it comes to this specific sneaker, and I'm not sure this is my first pair of Chinese New Year's, and if all insoles are like this, wow. 
by far one of the greatest, dopest things. I mean, I'm in a debacle when it comes to wearing these because one, I like wearing my sneakers as original as they can be. So if somebody out in the streets trying to call me out, catch me slipping, talking about, yo, let's see if your sneakers are real, whip out that insole because it'll add to the proving them that they real. I mean, I'm not gonna be out there trying to prove anybody, trying to prove myself to anybody, but if to the right person, let's say this is a fellow sneakerhead, my boy or my squad, and they wanna see if my sneaker is real, and this insole right here helps define that, then by all means, your boy will take off his shoe and I'll show this show them this insult but that's for all my sneakers though here's another thing though this is why i'm between a rock and a hard place i don't want to wear the insult because i don't want to mess it up and for it to get faded i don't want it to like get destroyed or ruined or for whatever reason you don't even see that symbol no more Just look at that come on they're all pieces pretty much Adidas' own pieces, domino pieces, or mahjong pieces to the sneaker. And this is this goes in, this ties in with the uh, Chinese New Year theme. If y'all didn't know, it's the year of the rooster. Hence why the back of the shoe, yes, I was gonna get to it, but since I brought it up, it has a rooster. And that's why there's a rooster on the box. That's the insole, guys. I think it's pretty sick. I'll do a quick, slow, moving footage for y'all. So y'all can see it pretty much repeats itself. You see the black Adidas and the trefoil. Whoops. Stripes, the inner sock, the sock liner or whatever, the inner lining of this sneaker is all white and it's super cushiony. It doesn't feel any more comfortable. So if I do wear these, then I'm thinking that I'm gonna have to get one of those like uh, foot insoles. Uh, it is a burrito roll tongue. And this is what I was talking about that the leather is pretty much shaved, or there's like shavings on it in the front because this is the suede toe box, right? Super smooth color. This is off-white suede, real smooth. And then this right here, kind of like on the Yeezy 2s, those uh, feathers on the inner and the outer of the sneaker, the groove moves with the way you put your finger on it, guys. Then in the inner, we have the plastic strap that helps tie the lacing, I'm not, I guess it's just for, it's a cosmetic thing because it doesn't really serve a purpose other than unless it goes all through the boost and goes to the torsion system and they just wanted to change up the color. I, I mean, I'd have to cut this shoe open to see what this plastic is for on the inside because you could feel it, it's a plastic strap. Now on this side, we just have the leather. So it could be just cosmetic thing, I'm not sure. And then we have a, a rope part where the cage usually goes, except this is made out of like, rope or something and you could adjust it right there so you can see if you want your laces tighter uh off-white laces is ds on the front of the burrito rolled tongue you have a patch that says equipment because they are eqts eqt is a short word for equipment and then adidas trefoil 9116 in red Leather hint right there, going around from this leather going over it, this one going under it, still coming this way, and then it gets super soft at the rooster. This is dope. On the right sneaker, uh, they have these, this hang tag, and right next to it, they have that domino of the rooster and the Adidas trefoil logo. Run it back. That's this a lot of things to talk about today, guys. Um, I don't know, I feel like I haven't recorded in a while, which is why I wanted to supply her with a bunch of this stuff for this video. And I'm glad I was able to shout out to my dudes by any means. <laughs> and I'll put your at down at the bottom. Shout out to my dude, Neil Swenson, for coming through with the assists. Super glad, shout out to my sister. Thank you so much that you were able to bring me these from LA. I'm really grateful for that. And another thing I got at DS was this windbreaker. It's super, super great quality. The reason and the only thing I can say about how good quality this is, I was washing my hands and some water got inside of this windbreaker. We're talking like a good chunk, like a handful of water got in. And I'm washing my hands and I raise my hand and I feel the water coming down all the way up here. And I'm like, whoa, hold on. You're telling me that the material that this windbreaker is made out of is so good quality that the water's going all the way up, that made me super happy. I copped at the ES, this runs for 65 retail. Your boy copped at 32, so that made it even an extra added bonus. Obviously, you know, we mess with the movement. 
just regular black on the top, gray at the bottom, super light and thin windbreaker. You know, we were messing with that boost god. Anyways, I'm not bragging, I'm not showing off what I got. I'm just saying, if I get really good quality things that I wanna share with you guys, then by all means, I'm gonna do it. Just because I want, I want you guys to have the good things that I have. And if I can get them, you can get them. And I'm definitely gonna provide all the links to where I got my stuff. Obviously, those are pop-up merch. Y'all can't get those no more because either they're sold out or Buscat ain't gonna, you know, come to your city just to give you that. Anyways, I'm talking too much. Hopefully y'all have a good weekend, have a safe weekend. Hopefully y'all stay blessed. I'm trying to stay blessed. Hopefully y'all enjoyed what y'all just watched. And oh, one thing I did wanna add, thank you. Thank you for all the love. I'm not gonna forget to say that to all my people. Shout out to my family and friends. Shout out to my Boost family. Shout out to everybody messing with my movement. I really do appreciate it and as always, Positive vibes, positive energy, stay blessed, stay woke. Until next time, guys, peace.